Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna to take a look at modeling a stairway with a landing. A landing and a turn. We're gonna go up, hit a landing, turn 90 degrees, finish going up, that sort of thing. Now, just fair warning, our pl my plan is to get that model in there, get proper treads, risers, that kind of thing. Um, we're not gonna do framing. We're not gonna go in and, and, and put stringers in or anything like that. But to get that initial geometry in uh, is enough for this video. So, uh, you know, if if you decide that framing is really important, let me know in the comments and we can, we can do something along those lines too. But now let's go make some stairs. All right, so I have this situation. Um, not a lot of information here. Like, uh, I don't know exactly what any of these dimensions are, but I'm in this scenario. I want a little bit of lead off of this door. I mean, a foot and a half, something like that, at least. Uh, have the stairs go up. Have, you know, I'll do a three foot wide staircase. So we'll have a 36 by 36 landing. It's going to continue the rest of the way up until it hits this height up here. So again, I'm coming in without a lot of control over where I got to put this. Um, but let's, let's, let's take a look at that. So let's start with the landing. So if I know that it's going to turn here and I want three foot wide stairs, I'm going to make just on the ground, I'm just going to draw up a 36 by 36 square. So that rep 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 represents where my landing is going to be. All right. Now, coming up to this landing, we are going to have some steps. Like I said, I want at least a foot and a half of space. There might be code for this. I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. I apologize if I'm any any big uh, code fans out there are appalled at the fact that I don't know this, but there's might be some code for how far off of an opening I can have stairs. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to say if, I'm going to put a foot and a half. So I'm 1.5 feet. All right. And I'm going to bring a line out 36 because that's how wide my step is. I don't really need this edge anymore. All right, so now I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna offset that uh, by my tread width. So I'm gonna say I want uh, 11 inch steps. So I'm gonna push this off this way, 11 inches, enter, and I'm gonna say do that 3X, 4X. Okay, so if I have 11 inch steps, that means I can put one, two, three, four steps before my three foot of landing and still maintain my minimum of uh, a foot and a half here. So that means I can take one, two. Oh, the other thing I did, I did lock this geometry. So that means I can do things like come in here and do a group select like that, scoot this over, and I got no problems. Um, all right. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm gonna draw a line right here. Take that option, copy that over 11 inches. And I'm just gonna say something like 15 X. I only used to take 15 steps to get up, but uh, what? wow. I did not plan that. But look how close I got to the edge of the room. I don't need to take 15 steps to get up to this, this uh, floor height up here, but there we go, that's there. All right, so now what we need to do is figure out our rise. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna come over here and just do some scribble on the wall a little bit here. I'm gonna say I wanna, hey, uh, uh, I don't know exactly what my height's gonna be. I wanna make sure that my height is less than the maximum, pretty much as close as I can get to the maximum riser height. So less than seven and three quarters. So I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna draw a line all the way up like this. I'm gonna select that line and I'm going to divide and I'm just going to start sliding my cursor. And as I slide it, you can see when I stop, stop moving my slide, my, my cursor, it's going to tell me how many segments and then how big those are. So I want to get those under seven and three quarter. There we go. So if I put 16 steps, that's seven and a half inches. I'm going to click right there. So I know this is basically my step. I don't need all these those this is my step so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna temporarily I'm gonna make that a component I'm gonna call this a stair it's gonna have more in there but uh, right now we're gonna call it a stair I'm gonna take that now I'm gonna move it option copy here to here 
and I need three of those, three X is gonna get me to there. Now I can take this, which is my landing. My height is seven and a half, so I'm gonna pull that up, 7.5, enter. I'm gonna do this now, because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna make that into a group. All right, and now, let's, let's just take these four steps we've already got. I'm going to option copy that and modifier key move, which is the same as copy. I'm going to rotate that, rotate it 90 degrees. And then we can take that, option copy that up here two times. There we go. We got one extra. Delete. All right, so there's our steps and our landing. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but it's going to come together as actual stairs pretty quickly. All right, I can delete my placeholder, my, my little tick marks there. Let's go into one of these and let's draw up what our, uh, let's start with our riser. I'm going to take my edge right here and I'm going to pull it up. Uh, I want to say one inch piece of material. So I'm going to sit and bring that up 6.5 inches. And then we want a little bit of a nose on there. So I'm going to pull this out this way. Um, I don't know, like three quarters of an inch. I don't know. I apologize. Again, code heads. I'm sorry if I'm getting any of this wrong. Um, and then I'm going to take this edge, bring this back one inch, and then triple click, make that into a group. And then separate from that, I'm going to come back that same three quarter, drop this down like that. And there's our riser, get rid of that. Grab that, make that into a new group. I can make these into components too. I'm just, I'm using groups for reasons unknown. All right, so now I can take this, I can go into this one, say this is gonna be 36 inches. Watch how quick this happens because we have all of our components set up. Uh, come into this one, same thing, double click. All right, there we go. Now each of our steps has a legal rise and tread um, I have to come on here, grab this edge, drop that down an inch, and then bring it out three quarters of an inch to match the, uh, the rest of my steps. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, the last thing I would want to do is maybe take this one and offset this, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to have to make this Grab this, make that unique, because in this one, this group is gonna have to go an extra two feet to make a legal landing there at the top. So with that, I've made steps. Let's go just, uh, you know, just a, a teeny bit further with this. We got a couple minutes uh, we can still play with. Let's put up like a, a railing wall. So a solid wall that's gonna fill all this in. Um, I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna come out like one inch, and if I come up like, like, actually let's go a little bit further. I wanna, I wanna get past this, uh, this little the edge of the step. So I'm gonna go two inches out. Um, I'm gonna come up this high and then add another 30 inches. I honestly, I don't remember uh, what that height has to be for uh, code either. I know, I'm, I'm, I remember rise and run, but that's 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 about it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy that. This is the where my wall is gonna start, and then I want it to match the slope of the of the stairs. So I'm gonna go like this, and then I can just kind of continue that. I'm just gonna run that along all the way up along that magenta line till it hits the wall, like that. And then what I'll do is I'll bring this back to this corner right here, and then go up. And there we go. Get rid of those pieces, get rid of that, get rid of that. Um, and then I'll take this, put this right here, and rotate that 90 degrees. Ooh, it's coming together. All right, now I can take this piece, give it some width, I'll like a four inch wall, something like that. Um, get rid of that. Continue this on up. Again, I, I'm a big fan of just run geometry long, right? Uh, 
I really like having to mess with, uh, there we go, knowing exactly where every piece has to go. Sometimes the geometry has to tell you how far it needs to run. Bring it back to here. Get rid of this interior edges. Get rid of this, get rid of this, there we go. Let me pull that out four inches. A little bit of cleanup to do right here. This is simple enough. I'm gonna drop a line down, draw a line over, erase, erase. Anything else to clean up back here? Oh, yes, I do. Oh my, I need a whole face back here. How about that for a cleanup? All right, reverse that face. Looks good. And then last thing, uh, I'm making up some architecture here. I, I don't even know what's, I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're going to four inches here. Is here, delete, delete. All right, and with that, we'll probably quickly make that into a group. Uh, actually, you know what? This probably needs to go up further. I was doing 30 inches. Actually, no, it's, that's, that's higher than I thought it was. Perfect, we're good. All right, so with that, we have a stair that goes up, turns on landing, and then it continues on up to the second floor. Quick and fairly painless. And I didn't have to do a whole lot of math there. I mean, I'd remember some numbers, but uh, I let the computer figure out where things were supposed to be. We've done some stair videos in the past, but um, I don't know that we've ever had anything that goes up to a specific spot, creates a landing. Uh, so the big thing to remember here was, I guess this ended up being a how to do math and figure out where stuff is when you don't know how to do the math or figure out where the stuff goes. Um, the big thing, of course, was the landing requirements. That's why we did all that kind of chalk line stuff on the ground and then uh, just pulled our way up. And in a couple minutes, kind of had a, that full staircase. And I think everything's right there. I apologize, like I said, you're gonna do it anyway, so yeah, sure. Point out in the comments where I missed a requirement or something like that. I won't be offended. Um, but hopefully, if you watch this, the part that you caught, what you actually came away with was how to use the software to do the modeling and the stuff rather than, uh, oh, Aaron doesn't know what the minimum whatever thing I screwed up was. So, but hey. You like that go ahead and throw that out there too why not it'll be fun it's a comment you know take it if you like that video click like down below and if you haven't already please do subscribe we create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe most importantly though please do leave us a comment down below uh if you got something out of this we'd love to hear what that is if you have a better way of doing this something that you've come across that other people haven't done let us know about that too and finally, if you have an idea for a video, for something we haven't done you think would be a good video, we'd love to hear that. We like making these videos a lot, but we'd like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.